it's me again. Um, in case you don't know me, I'm Tori. I've realized that I've been doing these videos and I don't introduce myself. And today is a continuation of yesterday somewhat. Um, this is what a half a can of Batiste and a ponytail holder does to dirty hair, just in case you didn't know. And yesterday was a really bad day. And I'm going to give you a snippet of what that bad day sounded like. Step out of it. I would if I could, asshole. I'm sure we, all of us, that feel depression, ADD, bipolar, schizophrenia, cutters, bulimics, snap out of it. We would if we could. Just like that. I feel great. I feel wonderful. That worked. That was a great suggestion. Thanks for coughing that one up. I would never have thought of that myself. So in the meantime, I've got enough. So I don't know if you could have heard that, but I was told that when I get depressed or um, ADD-ish or sad from it being cold. I mean, the sun is out today, so today's not that bad, but um, I've been told by someone significant in my life to snap out of it. Can't you snap out of it? Maybe, maybe snap out of it. Um, and that was my reaction to it. No, no, I would if I could. Uh, and to reiterate, a anyone that has any kind of mental illness whatsoever would be more than happy to snap out of it if that was a viable option because it's cheaper than insurance, it saves a lot of time, and you feel better. Snapping out of it. Great in theory, not physically possible. Um... But if you want to see the whole rant for yourself, it's called Keeping It Real, ADHD Made Me It's Bitch Today. And today it's Keeping It Real, um, something's making me it's bitch today, but I, it's not ADHD today because I'm leaving the house to go see my new therapist where I will complain about my ADHD. Um. But I wanted to um, read a passage from the Bible. Here it is. It's my childhood Bible. I know some of you are about to be like, click, bye. Um, for those that are still here, the two lines I wanted to read to you from Proverbs fourteen seventeen are, People with hot tempers do foolish things and wise people remain calm. So it was probably not the smartest idea to go off on YouTube and, and vent the way that I, I did. And I am not sorry for what I said, but I am sorry for the medium that it, it occurred. Um, but I, I have a, you know, maybe part of the bipolar is like a, a little bit of a rage problem. And I will flip a table if need be. Like Teresa from Real Housewives of New Jersey. I'm like more than happy to flip up a table like anytime. And give me a call. You're at a family reunion. Someone's acting a fool. I'll show up, flip the table, all the barbecue on the ground. Done. Take my $20 fee out of there. Um... It seems like everything that's supposed to be easy is really, really hard. Um, I'm in a place where I'm asking for help, but at the same time, I can't have help because this is how it goes when you have a mental illness and help is involved, short of your therapist and your psychiatrist. Say you're in a raft in the ocean and to the left of you is an island and to the right of you is like a cruise liner that can see you. Um, you can be alone because you don't want to bother anyone with your problems because you think that you're not worth it. Or 
on the boat is a bunch of people who want to help you, but you don't want to bother them with your problems because if you stay at your neighbor's house too long, they get sick of you and you become an emotional vampire and they vanish. So you kind of walk a road by yourself thinking you're a burden, trying not to be a burden to other people. And I've got sick parents. I'm showing symptoms. Like I said, easy things are really hard. Um, people say they're going to do stuff. They're not going to do it. I'm incredibly moody. I'm having anxiety about this gift my husband gave me. I'm tempted to tell him to send it back. It could be me and this iPhone. We're like this. I know what I'm doing. What is it I have to edit? I, I don't know. I'm not making fancy videos. I... Lexus isn't going to be putting an ad on my, you know, YouTube channel anytime soon. So I'm not concerned with that. Um, my husband and I, he was nice enough to sit down with me and make a list of all the stuff I have to do in order to do all this sort of stuff, to blog, to vlog, to be in social media. Next year, I want to write a book um, so I can show my dad that I can do it before he passes on to the next plane. Um, and we counted out how long it takes to do all this drama and it's like 10 hours a day. And I'm not afraid of 10 hours a day, but I don't know how it's actually physically possible for me to do that feeling the way I'm feeling right now in this moment with stuff going on with I'm moving home I'm I'm going to be packing I, I've got a sick parent that doesn't listen to instruction that only makes her sicker um, so it's like having a child basically um, I'm grieving the loss of my own house and um I'm, I'm losing things that were too important to be lost and they're gone. And I'm not capable of doing simple things for myself. And I, I, don't, I don't know what this is. I don't even know what kind of video this is. Do I call it a rant, a plea for help? I, I don't know, but I can flip a table. I've got that. I can spray my dirty hair so it looks somewhat clean. I, I got that going for me. Five minutes, Days of Our Lives is coming on. I get to watch 30 minutes of it, and then I'm going to go meet my new therapist and tell her that my old therapist was let go because she wanted me to do her horoscope in the middle of my sessions and would tell me that she would sit behind her condo and cry in her car. Very therapeutic. Um, I feel much better. She might as well have just said snap out of it. So, on that note, um, there is now a subscription button on my web page and my blog, torymania.com. I should probably link it below. Um, if you're having some emotional effects right now, I've been chatting with people on Instagram. I'm torymania314 on Instagram. I'll, I'll put that down below. Um, I'm on YouTube. You can leave a comment if you want. And I guess if you can find me on Facebook, I just go by Tori Mania on Facebook and there I am. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to follow up from last night and, um, I'll do some writing this weekend and then I'll send out a newsletter to keep everybody informed, all 12 of you. And, and I'll stop saying and, and I'll stop saying um, and I guess the upside to having this equipment is I can edit all that out, I guess. I know I keep saying that, like I'm gonna believe it, like I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna buy it. My husband's like, you're never gonna use it, I'm selling it on eBay. Yeah, that's it. So wish me luck, and I hope my little maniacs that you guys have a good day if you need me I'm here for you 
and uh, God bless. Thanks for being by my side. And you don't have to snap out of it. You don't. doesn't matter who says it. You don't. Believe it. Okay.